What do you get if you mix together an American-style pontoon boat with a Dutch sloop and a Boston whaler? Well, apparently, you get this fantastically bizarre-looking monohull. It's called the Interboat Neo 7, and we've come to the London Boat Show to check it out. When you step up top and take a look at the insides of this boat, the, the approach using the idea of the pontoon boat really pays dividends. We've got a huge two and a half meter beam that extends all the way to the bow, unbroken, in a huge rectangle of accommodation. And you can configure that in three ways. What you see here is the sport version with the console in the middle. You can also have the lounge version where the console comes right to the back. Uh, and the third configuration uses a pair of consoles, one on either side. Pontoon boats, conventional pontoon boats, have a reputation and a deserved one for being fantastically dull to drive. Uh, but in this instance, we've got a lot of power options. In the most basic guys, you get 27 horsepower diesel, uh, which puts the package price at about 32,000 pounds. You can spec that up to 170 horsepower, but the guys have told me that apparently, if you ask them nicely, they'll even give you a 220 horsepower diesel, which is enough to propel this big old boat to about 25 knots, which is perfect for wakeboarding. One of the massive benefits with any kind of pontoon boat is storage, but with this, because it's a monohull, the storage is taken to a totally different level because it's also very deep. Just take a look at this. It's absolutely massive. I can quite easily get in there myself and be joined by a family of four. How fantastic is that? The Brits have been very slow to switch on to the merits of the pontoon boat. But this is a very bold interpretation of the pontoon boat. And I reckon it deserves to do very well, even here in the UK.